Hello, we're back. I'm actually feeling pretty good today. Um, I went to work this morning. <laughs> also, hi, Christina. Uh, don't be lurking. Sounds good. Um, but I went to work today. And <laughs> I got there. And the secretary was like, you know what? Just take an extra day. Just, just, just take another day. Um, so we'll start. I don't know if I talked about March 18th. Uh, last night was rough. I lost roughly two hours of time. It's been a long time since that happened. Spent today resting for the most part. Spent time with Mason and acquired a Luna. Went to bed early. I was very tired today. Felt in a bit of a daze after yesterday. But that's part of the course when I have an episode that is that bad. And then on the South Forth side, it's just filled with scribbled out words. March 19th, got a new number because I'm tired of my text with Mason lagging so bad. And it was starting to lag the rest of my phone, honestly. Started my day early, trying to practice some mindfulness, which is easier said than done. Especially when being alone with my thoughts is what causes me issues sometimes. And she just left that page entirely blank. <clears throat> and then yesterday. Yesterday was something. The Cubans got up to the things the Cubans usually get up to. Spent time with Mason Molly and a new friend named Leonidas this morning. We went hunting. I don't often hang out with Wally. She's counting that as her new thing. <laughs> yeah, I got all the way to work. Because apparently she didn't expect me to come in today. And she's just like, yeah, no, go home. Go home. And I was like, all right, I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> uh, after the storm, I got a bunch of new clothes. I love when new shipments come in. Spent the day wandering from place to place, worked the bun, did some towing, hung out with the chaos crew for a bit, even saw Mason for a short time. March 20th, self worth one, series of scratch outs. So like, she started it in earnest. Okay, and feelings. And she's potentially um, going tomorrow to therapy, <coughs> depending. Uh, they're aiming for either tomorrow or Saturday. Molly Rollin is around. Oh my God. Veronica got a lap dance from her once. But Molly's around. Haven't seen her around in a long time. It was also a climb getting up here. This is one of those spots that Veronica doesn't go to very often. But that's the tree she used to beat the crap out of in 3.0. But she'll come up here from time to time and she will... That was weird. But she'll come up here from time to time. Usually to beat the crap out of that tree. Because in 3.0, whenever something upset her enough, she would carve into the tree. So she had, oh, it's raining down here. Um, yeah, that's, that's. That's a okay. Um, she would carve into that tree. At one point in time, it was fuck death, fuck the universe, fuck Norman Bones. Um, fuck fate. Uh, she just would carve the things that she was angry at into the tree. I think. We're gonna do a little toe. We're gonna do some cheeky toe. Uh, Cause there's something else to do right now. Well, we might stop by the bun, but everyone's so focused on the booths right now. And V is still worried about Kiki. Um, because she knows she's been kind of just 
in Winston's ICU room. Which V just does not think is healthy. Because <coughs> V is like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that if any of my siblings were in ICU because like, it's not what they would want me to be doing with my time. Because there's not much that she'd be able to do except sit there and wait. No, we have to do. We have to go check the courthouse. We have not done that today. So let's go check the courthouse. That, okay, yeah, now I know what that was about. Things are a little stuttery over here. I think this green hoodie is going to be one of my new staples for Veronica's wardrobe. It would look bad, yeah. Yeah. So I'll tell him it's got to be the exact size. Yeah. Okay, Mason doesn't have a warrant anymore. It could work. It's basically it's going to lower the quality. Like that pixel, pretend like it's going to stretch out so it will look very grainy. Yeah. I like seeing who's gotten hired recently. But she's still in the clear. Also, I need to turn down the music. Because I can't think. Uh...
My nose is still stuffed up. I don't know, guys. I think... <clears throat> I think Veronica gets away with the Charlotte thing with no warrant out for her arrest. Because... Oh, wait. I can't look on this phone. I think she's going to get away with it. Without even a warrant going out. <clears throat> because it happened... Where's the calendar app? So it happened on the 11th. Seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're at the 10 day mark. Oh no, I think she's gonna get away with it without any kind of warrant going out for her arrest. And like, once the statute runs out, I think V is going to Yeah. That was really to Veronica's benefit. Which, you know, it sucks for the character of Charlotte. Like it, it sucks for Charlotte as a character that it seems like this has been kinda of forgotten. Because it means there's no chance of her getting justice for what happened to her. <clears throat> and Veronica gets to walk away scot-free. Mind you, we still have, like, what? Uh, 19 days that they can press charges still. So a little over two weeks. So two and a half more weeks for them to press charges, essentially. But I, I think Veronica walks and doesn't even get a warrant put out for her arrest. That's what I think. And like I said, Veronica is going to be so shitty about it. Like the day after the statute runs out. She might just blatantly say in front of, she, I have ideas. Ranging from like outright saying that she did it. It took them three weeks. Yeah So like she's not out of the woods yet, but I don't know man We're 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 I think I think she skates and and doesn't even see a warrant put out for her arrest because the PD is so scattered brained at times. Like, people know that she did it. Well, that's why I'm saying, Sackmaster. Does she just taught out, they think I did it, but they just can't prove it? A nod to the. the Taylor Swift song, No Body, No Crime. Like, they think she did it, but they just can't prove it. Alright. How many people are... Oh, dear God, a lot of people are doing toe. Uh, 
Um, but it just comes down to they think she did it, but they just can't prove it. And to be completely honest, I think she is going to be super blunt about it. Um, I hear myself type. What is? Yeah. So they think she did it, but they just can't prove it. And as soon as the statute is up, she, I, I feel like, I feel like V is just petty enough to make it abundantly clear that she did it. Like, yeah, you thought I did it and you were right, but you can't do anything about it because the statute of limitations has run out. And I got away with it. They just forgot it happened. <laughs> Yeah, and V is just sitting pretty. She's not even worried anymore about a warrant going out. Because she's like, it's not going to happen. Like, she still checks, but she's like, has the expectation that there's not going to be anything there. Does she not remember? Because I don't know. And let's, let's be careful with anything that skirts towards meta. Because there's a lot I don't know. All I know is she's not dead, and it seems like she might not be an ICU because someone would have said something by now about her being an ICU. That if she's not in ICU, she probably spoke to the cops. But V is 100% going to be so smug about it if she gets away with it without even getting a warrant. Which I kind of am hoping she still gets a warrant. Just because I think that'd be fun. And I want the spice of, of medics finding out why Veronica has a warrant. Honestly. That doesn't seem legal. I think that'll just wrap up that that arc, honestly.
Because until the statute is up, like, that's an open-ended thing. <clears throat> so once the statute is up, like, that kind of closes out the... I'd say yeah. V is going to be insufferable if she gets off scot-free. Only for a day or two. <clears throat> but I think... Um, <clears throat> it'll just wrap up the, the Veronica and Charlotte arc once the statute runs out. And let's be real, Veronica and Charlotte are probably never going to speak again. And if they do, it's going to be very tense and awkward. But, like, that arc doesn't wrap up until either a warrant goes out for Veronica's arrest and she goes to prison or the statute runs out with no warrant and no arrest. Because at that point Veronica will be content to just never really bring up the incident or for V to go too far with something and regret it. Here's the thing, you're talking about someone who brutally murdered their best friend so that she wouldn't die. Like there's a lot of uh, backstory there for Veronica of when it was found out that she wanted to leave and wanted to divorce Casey the family wasn't going to let that happen and it wasn't something Veronica had even said to anybody outside of her best friend and her best friend's wife. It was, um, they found her journal where Veronica very blatantly said she wanted out. that she didn't want to be married to Casey, that she hated everything that she had to do. All right, wait to move up a little bit. What the fuck? My controls are a little wonky today. What the fuck? <clears throat> Maybe she doesn't do regret. She would regret stuff under certain circumstances. Like, she doesn't regret what she did to Charlotte. Um. But, like, if it had been a... <clears throat> If it had been a heat of the moment kind of thing, she would probably have regretted it. But it wasn't heat of the moment. It was planned. It was premeditated. She went in knowing what she was going to do. <clears throat> so there is no element of regret there for Veronica because she knew before she even called Charlotte to ask to meet that she was going to stab her. And Veronica didn't really care if it was, you know, Charlotte survives and she sent a message or Charlotte dies. She did not care. I'm just, I'm just going to put that one out there. Veronica did not care if she killed Charlotte. Like, Veronica knows any time that she hurts somebody, there's a chance that they could die, you know? So if she is meeting with someone with the express intent of harming them, 
she goes in knowing like yeah this person might die and that's okay as much as she has tried to say that she did not like doing the things that she did she didn't at first but when you spend years being subjected to the things that Veronica was subjected to uh, your brain gets a little fucked which is why she has no issues with what she did to Charlotte she doesn't really regret it is she having nightmares sure so in that sense, I guess there is that element of a little bit of regret, but it's not to the point where it's like she's beating herself up over it. That's just her, her morality coming into it. I'm, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna spoil something for you. Veronica has never been a good person. <clears throat> The only reason she didn't snap sooner is because she had something to keep her in check. <clears throat> her relationship with Josh, <clears throat> her business, being EMS. Those were all things that kept her in check. Her relationship with Harvey kept her in check. There were a couple times in 3.0 where she came close to harming Leo Escobar because he hurt Harvey. And the only thing that stopped her is knowing that that wasn't what Harvey would want her to do. Um, 4.0 Veronica is slowly becoming what Onyx Veronica was meant to be. Which is Veronica coming full circle kind of back to um, a blended version of who she was and who she became like she's not going to go out stabbing people willy nilly and, and like torturing people no but like if you hurt someone she cares about or you break her trust um don't meet up with her somewhere maybe let people know where you're going and who you're meeting because you're not walking away from that situation if you hurt people she cares about Kenneth wasn't entirely wrong in his meeting with her She still has some set of morals, it seems. I mean, she's not gonna just like randomly attack people because they slight her, right? The only person who she might do that to is Leo Escobar. But there's also years and years of history there at this point for them. Right. Five hundred and one.
In 3.0, she wanted to go after Samuel Haynes after he cut off Semolina's foot. She was talked down from, from that ledge. Yeah, Ambo's work again. GPU type thing. She was talked out because she had plans for Samuel Haynes if she got her hands on him. Wait, one dollar plus tax. There's tax on fuel now. I feel like that wasn't there before. Actually, really cheap. What the hell? the fuck, Georgia? What the actual fuck? <clears throat> but yeah, we're just gonna do some towing for a little bit. Make a little bit of money and then go over to the bun. And just witness the chaos over there. <laughs> Look, I have a lot of stuff like when it comes to Veronica and her motivations and stuff. <clears throat> Cause I get bored during the day. And like as Callie develops as a character too, like we're gonna start seeing those same things of like what what makes her tick. And like the reason I brought Veronica back in 4.0 is because I still had a little bit more to explore with her and some some unfinished business that I didn't want to leave unfinished. Because, uh, there is a certain ex-wife still out there somewhere. But I also kind of want to explore Veronica in the aftermath of everything that happened in 3.0 and her time away from the city.
And I would argue that 4.0 Veronica is a pretty stark departure in a lot of ways from 3.0 Veronica. Where I'm sure if anyone who knew her in 3.0 heard about what happened with Charlotte, that they're probably scratching their heads about how. How do you go from being the deputy chief of EMS, someone that you know was close with Charlotte, to slitting her throat? Like, how does that happen? And the answer to that is you have to look at everything that happened to Veronica in 3.0 to understand, I think, how she ended up on the path that she's on in 4.0. I think if, if some of the stuff that happened at the end of 3.0 hadn't happened, we probably would have brought a new character in for 4.0 but those last few months of 3.0 left me feeling like there was still a lot of story left for Veronica and that's a big reason why we've, we've come back with her as like our main Yeah, I have a much healthier relationship with roleplay now than I did, um, like, back in, like, late 2021-22. Much healthier relationship. I need it to be April 19th because I need Taylor Swift's new album. Harvey's grave would have been right about here. I think. Yeah, that's fair. I am hoping to get a new bicycle soon because I would like to start going on bike rides again. Which would mean that James would start even later. Of course I get a job as I get up here. But it's right up the road. Um, Cause I would like to go on bike rides. So 
so I would really, really, really like to get a new bicycle. Because, um, <clears throat> I had a beach cruiser that I started fixing up because my, my brother brought it home and did nothing with it, and then he was like, oh, well, I, I'm gonna give it to one of my friends, and I was like, that's okay. Like, I can just get a new one, and I still haven't gotten a new one. Because, like, I had started cleaning, like, all the rust off of it, and figuring out, like, you know, how to change the chain, and all that on it. But I just want a bicycle, because I would love to go bike riding. Because we have a nice park down the road from me. I would just, I would like to go enjoy the spring weather before it gets too hot because it gets uncomfortably hot and humid in the summer. Hello, ma'am. Oh, yeah, I can I can change your tire for you. Why isn't the thing at the wheel that you took off? That's my only question. Because I took off the front wheel. plan will be see if we can get another tire see if we can get another tire change job and then we'll call it on towing and go to the bun So I can only stand solo towing for like a little bit before my brain goes burr. Oh Jesus. Hey. You good? Hi. Hi, you good? Yeah. Alright. Uh just wait for me at the clothing store. Can you give me a ride? Uh, yeah. Store? Yeah, I can give you a ride. Hey, thanks. Uh, which one are you going ahead. to? Are you going to the one in Animal Arc or the one in uh, Harmony proper? Oh, this one right here. This one right here. All I'm right. just a lazy bow. <laughs> I don't want to. Sorry. I wouldn't want you almost getting hit by others. I did not see you. you. All right. Here you go. Bro, where? Thank you. Bro, where are you? What? I did not see him until I almost hit him. Like, dude, why are you running this so close to the road?
There's his friend. Solo some Mosley's. Well. She slipped off of the slippery rock there. I just really love it at this spot, honestly. Go get some coffee. I don't know how long we're gonna stream for. <clears throat> Cause my voice is struggling. So we might just do another like hour and a half stream today. So we're probably going to do like another 40 minutes or so. Honestly, I'm thinking like 5.30 is when we're going to end just because my voice is struggling. I really want to be over this cold so bad. My new favorite thing. Marcy sent me how to do this. Like, which key binds to use. And if you think Veronica isn't going to do this to Mason the next time that he says something where she knows that he's right, but she hates that he's right. You're wrong. She a hundred percent is going to pout and throw herself on the ground and cross her arms. MZ, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. It's a resub actually. That is just reincarnate. The amount of times I've been like, I wish we could just throw herself on the ground and pout. It's too damn high. And now she can, because Marcy showed me the way. She was pouting doing her therapy homework last night. Because she did not want to do it. Now she's pouting sitting in the rain. Waiting for a job to come through. But like, V's bank account? Is up good, man. She's gonna throw herself off. There we go. I'm trying to figure out, like, okay, if I want to be facing. Okay, so you have to be just like slightly. So if I want to be facing that way, 
I gotta angle myself a little bit. She's pouting. <laughs> oh, I love it. I'm so happy Marzi figured out this combination. I'm so happy. She is on she is unstoppable now. I just don't want to drive all the way back down to the city and get a job up here. Oh, we can serve our coyote friend. That's not what I wanted to do. I hit the wrong key. I hit the wrong key. There we go. Hey, I got a job. Hell yeah, all right. You know what I realized? Veronica, I don't think, ever found out who was actually saying stuff behind her back. You couldn't have just needed a tire change, huh, bud? I just wanted to finish my shift and go to the bud and watch the chaos, but no, you need a tow. I just want to change a tire. I have a tire that's like, needs to, to fucking be used. This one, it's higher change, man.
and she has to go through the mountains over the mountains and through the woods having an issue where sometimes I can't reverse. I don't know why. I am such a great driver, I don't know what happened there. Okay, yeah, that was... That was on me. really difficult to drive a tow truck where tow trucks were never meant to be driven. This is fine. <laughs> this is fine. We're fine. Did I not go all the way back? Well, fuck. I have to abandon the job. Yep, we have to abandon. Mm. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it.
It'll disappear off the back. Just give it a couple minutes. Because it's scuffed. We love when things get scuffy. We're gonna go this way. I really hope it's a tire change because I just want to go back down to the city. So we can go check out what's going on at the bun. And we just have one more tire left that we need to, to get rid of before it goes bad. So what we might do is we might finish up towing, go to the bun for a bit, end stream, and maybe come back after I have dinner later, depending on what's going on. Why am I, why am I having such issues with the tow truck today? Because, like, it's been very sleepy this early in the storm. Where it's like, there's not much going on because not a lot of the people that Veronica would normally hang out with are around. Which is usually an opportunity to meet new people, but. I'm starting to get headaches around here. Because usually the only time I would get headaches here is if Veronica was with Mason. Because uh, sauce gets lag up here. And now I'm starting to get Route 68 lag. I think a lot of other people are starting to get it too. Which makes me curious of why here.
I think there's so many people towing. That there might be multiple people with jobs at this location. <laughs> Wild. Oh, you son of a bitch. We're done with towing. Yeah. I just wanted you to know I know how it is. I think we'll grab the car and we'll go see all the, the vendors that are open. Get some coffee. And then end stream until after dinner at least. Maybe we'll be back, maybe we won't. I know I've been just like MIA this week, but I've been so sick. Which I, I hate. I went so long without being sick. And then, like, several times in the past six months. Because back in December, right before 
the end of 3.0. I got so sick and I was, I'd be in server and like, I'd, I'd get like a DM from someone be like, just go the fuck to bed, dude. You sound awful. I'm like, right, but what if I just don't because I can't sleep? Right, like, what if, what if, what if I just, I don't. All right, let's go. Also, look how many people are towing. Like, there's so many people towing. Please deliver yourself to your business. <laughs> go harass Finn. We could just go harass Finn. not realizing that my phone is ringing. Mm. Uh, I kind of really love that outfit, but oh, there's those other two. I'm also a big fan of this one. Big fan of this one. The bun. I need to find reasons for Veronica to wear the, the skirts. Because I don't think she would just wear them in her day to day because she does so much running around.
hate having colds so much. I'm just saying, Lottie, we would have killed her. Mm. All right, we need the two cheeseburgers for order three. Why are there two order threes? I don't know. I don't know why. I was number two. Oh, I see. Okay. Man, you should. I'm waiting to order. Wait, who wants a cheeseburger then? I'll make the Hello? cheese smoothie. I'm making the Look, cheese smoothie. They're doing smoothie. their best. How many okay? cheeseburgers? I need to make an order. For order they're three. They're doing their best, okay? I'm three. waiting in line. I'm in, fr yes. I'm in the front of the line. Man, they're doing their best. He still right, hasn't I got your noticed. Cheese smoothie here, man. Your two cheeseburgers yeah. are coming right up. Hi, welcome to Burger by the Ocean. How can I Is this Mama Slices? Take all our money I'd like back. a large two topping. Hey, how those burgers Pepperoni coming? Pepperoni pizza. Um, faster than you, I'll tell you that. You need, you need I'd like a two liter no, Coca Cola. I'm good. I already got one done. I'm I'd like some of those Cinnabon no, no, little mini delights. No, 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 I want a cup of frosting no, no, on the side. Cheese bread sticks. You, I just got to ring the bell because of you. Thank you. You're at the wrong place. It says on the top of your thing, go to Mama Slices. What do you mean? It says that. It, you have, it says it right there. Hello, oh, oh my God, I love yeah, if they have protein shakes, I could take that before yes, work. What are you saying, Molly? Excuse me, I'll be right back. But I'm hungry still, yo. I need food. Oh, shit. Yeah, I need food too, yo. This is crazy. No, we bought no, a bunch we of thought, I thought I would anyways, fucking get fed off yeah, of that shit. Yeah, we thought that the smoothies would fill us up, yo. But it was just something for, you know. It was just something for the hydration. Yeah, you want a smoothie, by the way? Okay, can I, I get a, a, a freaking... What, what did they think it was going to be? It's a smoothie. There you go. Take that shit. And you got to register? You don't need cash? Yeah. I, I need some... I'm going to need fries. What are you trying? Hey, shit, give it to, like, a homeless person or some shit. I don't know. Burger by the ocean, home of the ocean. Hello, Veronica. Man, Hi. Make your order. Can I get the heartbreaker with cream? Yeah, yeah, you French can. with extra salt. Our French machine broken. Yeah. No. We yeah, tried so hard to cook French. Yeah. Oh. Yesterday you got your your fries, but today different. Thank you, buddy. Uh. Yeah, we could do heartbreaker with cream. Can we interest you in maybe a cheeseburger? I was gonna say cheese smoothie and then the side salad extra crouton no tomato. Cheese fries, yo. Ooh, salad machine oh, yeah. also broke. I'm gonna pickle. The DIY salad is unless you want a DIY salad. I don't salad. want the DIY salad. <laughs> yeah. I want you to put my salad together, Leo. Okay, then I could do the heartbreaker cream and cheese smoothie. We're st we're still right, yeah, we'll, do that. we'll do that. Okay, swipe whenever you're ready. Here's a patty oh, burning. I'm sorry, ladies. I'm sorry. I'm right no. here. How can I, I feel help like you? we got a real scammed off of that smoothie, oh, bitch. Yo, oh, damn. Fantastic. I mean, shit, that, how much was that shit? Yo? Welcome to like, uh, Burger by the bucks. Ocean, home of the Ocean. May I take Ocean here, Ocean there, Ocean everywhere. What can I take for your order, gangster? Yo, how many cheese Yo what's good, homie? I need a motherfucking cheeseburger. Two. Right, I got the two of them. How many cheeseburgers are we talking about? Two, yo? two motherfucker. Two. Right. And then two cheese fries, dog. Oh, yeah. No, Alright, I got your all cheese, all cheese yo, smoothie I'm right here. Fuck. Thank you, Adam. The heartbreaker with cream is on oh, the way. Yeah. Damn, I, I can't fucking look at No, 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 no cheese food. Cheese fries, cheese fries. You got a cheese dunk. Uh, the cheese fries machine broken. But Damn, we can no give you that cheese smoothie, dog. Okay. Damn, that, Yo, that I ain't trying to get no cheese smoothie, yo. We just hey, had smoothies. Uh, yeah, I just got some cheese? smoothies. Thank you, thank Nissan. you. 
Nissan cheese smoothie, that's Ain't because no we're getting our cheese cheddar cheese up around cheese. here. So you got to consume as much cheese as you hey, need, hey, you know? Hey, yo. when you're ready. Don't. Those motherfuckers right next to you is charging like 20 bucks for a smoothie. Oh, oh fantastic. Hey. You got, you got her cheese this, pizza. You got her cheese This five yeah. bucks for a smoothie. Swipe with you, gangster. Fantastic. Five bucks, I'll take fucking three Yeah, we cheese because we making that cheddar over here, yo. Damn, damn, damn. Give me three of them. And then like, then like. Oh, four cheeseburgers. Oh, I got it. Damn. Well, I gave you two cheeseburgers. Yo, we getting cheese today, yo. Oh shit. All right, I'll do that. I can make you another order in a second. Yeah, do that shit. I will. <laughs> what are you Wait, doing? Can I, can I pay for this order? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, you can pay for that one. And if you want right. something else, I can. Adam will run you up. Nah, we nah, nah. We're good. Make we're good. We're good with this smoothie. shit. Bro, you guys cheese hey, No out? offense, Yo. bro. Who's making the What's good? With cream? You give me Dine and Dash vibes. I got Dine and Dash. I, got the I just pay for this shit, yo. Yeah, what the hell are you talking about? Yeah. Just I'm a respectful you. fucking member of society. Yo, who the hell is you? I, I did, I did you say just no coming offense. up saying that we just yeah, robbing and shit? Yo, no offense, bro. Yo, no offense. Hands up, motherfucker. We're about to rob your ass, bitch. Yeah, this bitch right here right now. Oh, yeah. Okay, dude, shit, bro, yeah, bro, bro. Hey, bro, run his pockets, Sam. Run his pockets God, right now, yo. Please. Run his make pockets. Sure, Just make sure to take my phone, bro. Make sure to take my phone. We need the, we yo, need take the, his fucking uh, money so we get some free ass food, food in this bitch. I was just kidding though, you guys look like gentlemen, bro. You guys look like a great My heartbreaker. Oh, hey, thanks. We ain't kidding though. Wait, you gotta you gotta yeah, cheese. Never, I never right. gave her the cheese. Never done, never never done joke, no, bro. I'm giving her a cheeseburger and a heartbreaker. I mean, okay, that I think completes her heartbreaker you. though. But, I did but, order a heartbreaker that should have been cream. Run this pockets. Thank you guys. Here you go. I still don't I still can't give anything to you. Here you go. Look at all we these plates, it. what the hell? Sorry, I'm not gonna get that. Um so uh well it's your order yeah, your pizza's being made right now, sweetie. Alright, take your time. Hold on, I wanna Alright, they're still all sold. Right. Excuse me. Shit, no, no. Carbon monoxide hazard. Shit, what are you doing? Oh, we'll just oh, no, doing for completing some orders. Oh, yeah. Of course, of course. Is anyone even working the bun? Yeah, I, I'm. You know, give us some time. No, nope, it's a carbon monoxide hazard. So, I don't um, care. Just give us a second. How old We're are giving you again? Him Very me? dangerous. Or snare buns like dead. All right. Probably. All right. So. Yeah, I mean we've known where where to rent them. Um. All right. So my voice is not conducive to streaming right now. And there's also just not much going on. So we're probably just gonna fuck around here. I am going to send you guys to... It's mm. made of Minerva. And I'm just gonna chill and only talk when V is spoken to. <laughs> because I need my voice for tomorrow. And I will catch you guys later. Hey, how you doing? 